We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Time for a nighttime routine, friends. It's like 7.40 and this is what it really is, okay? We're trying to make healthy habits in 2021, friends. And I decided after writing up a new blog post that that's gonna start with having a healthy nighttime routine. So this is no fake and phony things over here, okay? This is a real life of trying to get your life together at nighttime. I don't know about you. I don't know about all these people that have these glorious looking nighttime routines. But let me tell you something, I give all of me throughout the day so that by the time the nighttime comes around I'm literally like a vegetable in front of somebody's television set because that's just how it is for me I need to unwind scroll something and I just got to do better in order for me to start the day off on a better foot I need to get to sleep <laughs> I need to act like I'm preparing for something the night before so I set up my night routine in advance. So today, I literally don't even have to think about it. I just have to follow the plan. So it's gonna start eight o'clock. <laughs> eight o'clock is the nighttime routine. It's the time that we're gonna have to shut it down and try to make a thing out of this thing. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. The kids are making the most noise in the background, um, running all over the house, cause that's what has happened since the year 2020 and us being in the house even more than we already were, is that you just have to kind of let a lot of things go with the kids because they're not doing their normal things in life. So when they run around the house making way more noise than you would normally tolerate, you just handle it. <laughs> so because of that, we just need to get into a good nighttime routine and I'm gonna bring you along. So the kids are getting started by getting their stuff together and getting their showers taken care of so that we can get started with our night routine at eight o'clock on the dot. When you have a clock that's actually an hour ahead, but that's okay, because we know what time it really is. And this is our night routine, friends. So in preparation for screens off, we make sure everybody has their snack accounted for. Start to pick up in the schoolroom because the goal is going to be to head towards the back of the house. We have a one story house, so there's no upstairs, downstairs separation. So a good rule of thumb for us is going to be to head towards the back of the house so we could spend a little bit of time together as a family and wind down. I did not. <laughs> All right, so we made it through our self-care portion of the night. Moved on to writing time so the kids have their journals and I'm trying to encourage my husband to go and grab his journal, grab my journal so we can sit and write. Right now, it's a little tumultuous, but <laughs> whenever you start something new, a new routine, it's always gonna get pushed back, that's natural. Um, so Brian is going to put on some writing music right now and we're gonna get all of our journals and write. Go and get my Bible. And ideally, I would like to get in a good like reading time, but because I'm a little bit off on the schedule because this is our first time around, um, I'll just jump right into our devotion time. But ideally, I would like to get a little bit of us reading just our independent books all together. And so the first half of that reading time will be our independent books. And then the second half will be reading our Bible together and doing a little bit of devotions before bedtime. And then we'll move on to worship, a little bit of worship music or soothing music, either one, um, before we head off to shut off all the lights and go to sleep. And then at that time, maybe Brian and I can continue to read together. So that's kind of the goal, y'all. So I've got my Bible and I'm going to also ideally I would already been ready for bed <laughs> so I'd have my scarf on and my robe on I would have showered but right now since I'm a little bit off and I had some other things to do I'm not quite there yet but that's okay we'll progress in our routine and it'll get better as we go along <laughs> Thank you. 
really? Is With it a girl the, or a boy? With the K. Oh, that's the girl. sweet. <laughs> Okay, kind of. We we kind of made it. That's not the real time, so just ignore that. It is a little bit past nine o'clock and everybody is kind of tucked in. The kids decided to keep writing with their um, reading lights on and Brian is finishing up a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen, which technically we would have had done by now. Um, I would have been completely ready for bed if it wasn't for trying to get a little bit of accountability with this vlog. And now I am going to grab a book, get myself ready for bed really, really quickly. <laughs> and um, grab a book and get in bed and try to read right along, right next to Brian. And I feel like this was a success. It wasn't perfect, but a, a really good start. So yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited. So I have to keep this up. I have to keep it moving. I'm gonna sign off. I feel like I did a good job. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with us today or tonight. This was um, the beginnings of our new nighttime routine. I wrote up a blog post that said I'd have picture proof of jumping into our nighttime routine and it's only good things from here because the goal is to end my day in preparation for the next. Um, we had the most super sweet special um bible study time and uh kendall has been um we just had a really special sweet uh bible study time and it made me super happy for dealing with the huffs and puffs here and there because i think good things are going to come of this um but yeah y'all know me rambly let me stop um you can head to my blog and find the post um, about our nighttime routine and there is um, a printable challenge that um, has a blank challenge page and then also our very you know specific nighttime routine if you want to follow along we want to make sure that we're doing what we need to do to try to create healthy habits all 2021 so remember life is so very full of lessons and our goal is to live and to learn Bye. don't forget to subscribe